Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and uh, today we are going to kick off my Sort My Stash 2024. So this is the introduction video which I'm going to just shortly explain you a little bit about what's going to be happening in this coming series. So as you might have noticed, that slight tiny thumbnail here on YouTube basically has me, <gasps> which is true because, you know, when I was doing this project, when I started on it, I gathered all my boxes because I'm the box hoarder type. Um, mainly because I just don't have the shelf space and the room space to have it nicely shelved, at least not as of current, um, and definitely not all of this yarn. So uh, I am the box type of person. I store it in boxes until I need it, and then I pick it out. I know exactly where things are, except it wasn't really that sorted, and I wasn't really sure, slowly sure, 100% of what I had and what I didn't have. Um, always a rough idea of what I had, but the fact is... Um, I just need to sort my stash for various reasons. Um, I need to get a better overview of it. Um, but I also need to, to sort the room where I currently tend to stash all my things. And that room is a bit of a mess. Um, and yeah, I'm just this box hoarder type due to, to the, the lack of storing space, basically. And then it's easier to make sure that they are in boxes. Um, so what I did is I simply started by, by stashing up all the boxes I had with yarn and I looked at them and I was like, oh my God, really, really. I had way much more yarn than I thought I had. Um, I really need to convince myself not to buy any yarns unless it is a really good deal or something I really need. Um, and that is something that I started trying not to since around January, um, with the exception of a few yarn hauls that had already been paid and ordered and was only a pending to be shown here on YouTube. But those were made basically before I started this project of sorting my stash 2024. Um, so yeah, I stacked it all up and this is basically upstairs in my home. Um, and yeah, what I'm going to do is simply the thing is, so my home is also divided in a way. So in the Netherlands, uh, the houses are tall rather than wide and spacious. So we build in height. Uh, standard houses here have a first floor, a second, uh, so like a, a living room floor, then the first floor and the attic. Um, and usually you live in all of them. Um, so they are more like a bit slim, but built in the height. Um, where where I'm from, I'm probably used to more like uh, all in one level or maybe only two floors, etc. So in that sense, we don't have that much space. Um, also, the housings are expensive in the Netherlands, so you do not get spacious houses unless you really have a fortune. We don't. Um, we do have our own home, which on that note is already uh, considered pretty well off. Um, but, but yeah, so, um, due to, to spaciousness, it wasn't possible to simply make one big recording of this sorting. Also, you would be busy for hours. So what has been done is basically that, um, I've taken a few photos during the process and I will be shortly explaining you guys a little bit of what is to happen. And then sorting my stash 2024 is going to be a series where I am going to show you all of the individual yarns I have at the time of recording. Um, and basically saying, hey, this is my yarns. Um, and this is all I have for this type and this type and this type. Um, we're talking about plans. We might even talk about me if I'm thinking about selling them or giving them away. Um, I have crates that's intended for only giveaways. I have crates that's intended for projects and a lot of them I already have projects planned for um, and the first edition of this Sort My Stash series will be on Monday. So but as always we cannot really start talking about yarn and start, starting to talk about some of all what you see without me having my favorite mug of tea and today that is just a standard black tea with an orange flavor. Um, the photos basically also because upstairs the rooms aren't really like if I would have set up a camera to record it um, What you would experience is basically you would just see me walking back and forth and I wouldn't have time to explain it, And you wouldn't be able to see it all very probably because 
it did include a lot of going between different rooms, going upstairs to the attic, pick up some things there, going back down, etc. But I think I got it almost fully sorted. Um, and, and yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy the series, which will definitely contain a lot of series on what's because I do have yarns. So the Monday or the Monday show off will be all my drops yarns. Um, we will have some chenille showing. We will have some uh, hobbies. I have lots of hobby yarns, including twisters, solid twisters, a friends, friends wheel, um, salt and salt and deluxe, azaleas, um, butterfly, um, other other yarns from hobby. Lots of 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 eight four cuttings as well. Um, but also all my Stanley cakes and all my more novelty yarns. We, we're going to go through all of them. Um, and, and each box will get its own uh, episode here. Um, that is the only I think I'm not going to do an episode for because nothing has changed to that. Is um, last summer I bought uh, some yarns on Facebook of Karen Simply Soft. I will link to that video just up here and at the very end of this video. Um... I got a kill of a deal of Karen Simply Soft. All of those yarns, they are still the same. Um, I also had some old ones, which I was able to actually combine them with. And they are all um, in, in one big suitcase, basically. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's go through a little uh, slide stream or a stream of uh, photos here, slideshow. Um, and I'll talk you a little bit through what's going on and uh, give you a little bit pre-taste of, uh, of the current Assort My Stash a series. Behind this, oops, this is how much yarn I have. I'm super surprised was this mountain of boxes and yarns and bags and everything. You see, we have ice yarns, we have Stanley holes, we have hobby holes, lots of things that just simply were waiting on me to put myself together and get it all sorted. Um, all the way to the left up corner and it's just before you go downstairs. So this is basically the place where you can see uh, the um, hallway is dividing. Uh, there is a suitcase, a bit slightly difficult to see here. And that suitcase is where we have the current Simply Soft filled up in. At the very right hand side, you see a door. That is the door to my toilet. Um, just next to the toilet, there is an entrance to my guest room, which is also where basically a lot of these boxes have been standing. But there is a lot of other things in this room, which basically, unfortunately, makes it impossible as of current to make it into a yarn room. Um, but I have an idea of getting it sorted at some stage. Question is just when I'm standing on my staircase all the way to the attic while I'm taking this photo. And to the left side, you do see the doorway into our master bedroom. So that's basically how it's looking upstairs from here. And uh, and yeah, then it's getting time to get it sorted. And uh, you can see that I'm slowly just unboxing him. We do have, you can see the staircase here uh, and a jacket and a few cakes that's already standing a bit here and there. So some yarn art cakes, the most recent Kremke wool cakes and a hobby bag. There is some uh, Merino flower cakes and more to come. So I'm basically just slowly starting to unbox these boxes to figure out and get a better overview of what I have. Um, I decided that it was a good idea to get basically all the yarns split up into the same categories where they were the same, which basically means if, um, if you have yarns that are very, very similar, and to me, um, yarn arts, twisters are like the same as um, hobbies, oh sorry, yarn arts, uh, flowers is the same as hobbies twister. Um, they have some of the same colorways. Um, they also have some of some different colorways from one another. There is a price tag difference and there's a label difference. But um, if you ask me, I am ninety point nine 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 percent sure, ninety five, ninety nine point nine nine nine, whatever percent sure, almost one percent sure. It's made on the same factory, but it's just different labels. So basically, I start by sort of figuring out what I have and uh, dividing some of all my crates out. Um, and uh, then you can also see here we have uh, some of the twister cakes that's slowly getting sorted correctly. There is also some Halloween twister cakes. Uh, there are some yarn up flowers in between. There might be some friend's wheel down in that crate as well. Left to it, you have some a butterfly yarn and some kite feathers. So this is just like hobby acrylic yarns. 
Um, I have that box. Uh, I have another box full of twisters. So this box is almost full. And I have another box that size. Uh, if it's not even bigger, I'm unsure. But it's almost also completely full of twisters. Some of them are twisters and some of them are twisters and moonlight. But, you know, it's it's just I'm so surprised how much I have. Like, I'm, I'm realizing I am spoiled rotten with yarns. Um, you can see here also we have a bunch of various yarns from... Um, from Stanley. Uh, it, they're laying a bit around me trying to get an overview here. Some of them also contain some ice uh, yarns in them, but I'm basically here just slowly sorting all these Stanley cakes uh, to basically get an idea of where are they, where do they belong, um, so that I can get all the baby muffins together, so I can get all the vegan cakes together, so I can get all the candies together, so I can get all the cotton cakes together etc so that's basically what i'm doing you can see that some of them are already slowly being sorted correctly so again it's just it's just a good way to get a really good overview of, of what i have and i managed to get all of them more or less uh, put together in the same crate so that that it makes sense and, and we are going to go through all these crates doing during the coming time um, we have on the left side definitely some um, all the way down left uh, some opal Stanley opal candy candy opal cakes, cotton cakes on top here. Um, there is even some yarn jeans laying up in the corner. Um, souffles are being placed down here together with um, my muffins, and as you can see, I do have a fair amount of muffins uh, standing around as well. So there is really just a lot of yarn. Um, and yeah, so this last sneak pre preview is um, the drops yarn I have. It was one big pile of drops and I got them sorted. All of these drop yarns I have plans for and I'm going to share those with you in the first uh, part or in part one of this Sort My Stash 2024. I hope you enjoyed the sneak preview of some of the photos I took when I was sorting all of my yarns. But honestly... Um, I was more busy sorting than I realized I need to maybe to take some more photos and make some more documentation. But in the end, we are going to go through my whole stash 2024 and we are going to slowly de-stash it over the year. Some of uh, some of these chance are obviously being given away. Some of them are already having plans for and we are going to discuss everything that I know as of current when I'm recording those videos in this upcoming series. I really hope that you're going to enjoy all of these yarns because this series is going to be Let's Talk Yarn when I'm sorting my stash in 2024. Thank you for um, coming along and uh, watching this introduction video to the Sort My Stash 2024. If you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. Ring the little bell to make sure you get the notifications because there will be Sort My Stash videos every week monday from now on for the next many weeks because as you see i have a lot of yarn thank you so much for hanging around with me for now take care and happy crafting until i see you again bye